I'm Bert Vargas, uh, one of the neurologists at Mayo Clinic in Arizona, and uh, one of the group of neurologists that specializes in concussion evaluations as well as headache. Uh, one of the other areas that has been uh, a huge interest of mine ever since I began working at Mayo Clinic was, was the telemedicine services that we've been able to offer, including telestroke and teleneurology. And it, it seemed very fitting that we were able to combine two of those areas that I love very much, the concussion and the telemedicine, into what we're now calling teleconcussion. The, uh, the manuscript that we just recently published was based on a, uh, on a case of, of concussion that we evaluated remotely with our, uh, with our existing telemedicine network between us and Sholo, Arizona and involved the evaluation of a soccer player that was concussed while playing uh, in, in one of his league games and was returned to play a bit prematurely and had yet not recovered from a symptomatic standpoint or even a physical exam standpoint. And what ended up happening was this individual continued to have issues and was brought to our attention. We were able to evaluate him remotely and, um, and make the determination that he was probably not safe to return to play yet. And we were able to direct him to more specialized care, which eventually led to his recovery and eventually led to a safe return to play. So in the end, it was a very positive outcome for this individual. The significance of that, of that case, we believe to be very, uh, very important because it represented not only the first use of the term teleconcussion, which at this point was non-existent even on Google, but also really began to open the doors for being able to provide this service to uh, a host of, of people and a host of organizations, including professional organizations who might need uh, specialized neurologic care on the sideline, and certainly to our rural populations who on a day-to-day -day basis face the uh, the need of, of, of access to a concussion specialist, especially in light of Arizona law, which mandates that concussed student athletes need to be evaluated before they return to play. Well, we're very excited about the enthusiasm that teleconcussion and the services we've been able to provide um, are, are, are becoming uh, well recognized and have gained uh, some popularity and some interest. And we look forward to offering teleconcussion services to schools and professional organizations uh, across the globe. And uh, if you have any interest in reading more or discussing more the, the services that we can provide, not only in telemedicine and teleneurology, but also in concussion, I encourage you to look at our website and, uh, and contact us at concussion at mayo.edu.